Guys, if you haven't yet, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and never miss a video from Techo Friendly. hi guys once again welcome to taco friendly so today i'm going to show you guys how to install a custom recovery in your android phone now you're gonna have to install a custom recovery in your android phone if you want to flash a stock rom or a custom rom in your android phone so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it uh, now uh, before getting to the video you're gonna have to make sure that three steps are done in your android phone first you're gonna have to make sure that usb debugging is enabled in your android phone so you can just uh, simply google how to enable usb debugging in an android phone yeah, the steps are pretty much simple for all the android phones so i'm not gonna show you how to do that because it's pretty much simple and most of you guys might have done it already or knows how to do it already now second thing is that uh, now in most of the modern android phones the phones which uses a custom skin or custom android skin like uh, redmi android phones oneplus phones uh, and phones like that you're gonna have to unlock the bootloader of your android phone in order to install this custom recovery so if if you try this and if it doesn't work for you don't blame me you're gonna have to unlock the bootloader of your android phone and those steps are different for all the android phones so i'm not gonna show you that here because that varies from brand to brand so you're gonna have to google it out yourself and make sure that the bootloader of your android phone first of all you're gonna have to uh, find out if you if you have to unlock bootloader of your android phone to install a custom recovery and then if you have to you will have to find it out yourself for your phone's brand and make sure that it is done now the third thing is not a compulsory one but i would recommend that you do get it done now some of the phones that i've tested requires your phone to be rooted to install uh, the custom recovery so i would recommend that you uh, root your android phone it's okay if you don't uh, but if it doesn't work for you which means you will have to root your android phone all right so now that being said uh, assuming that you guys have made sure of these three steps i'll get into the video so first of all you're gonna head over to this uh, link that i have linked in the description below and download adb 15 second installer you're gonna have to install adb drivers in your computer in order to install this custom recovery so now you can try this 1.4.3 but if this version doesn't work for you i would recommend that you go for this 1.3 because this works in most of the uh, windows uh, operating systems and uh, computers so i am using this 1.3 because this 1.4.3 doesn't work for me so uh, now download after downloading it make sure that you uh, paste that installer onto your desktop now this is important that you paste it onto your desktop after pasting is just right click on it and run as administrator after running it go ahead and uh, click y press enter again press y and press enter okay so i have already uh, installed it so it is telling me that uh, nothing needs to be copied but uh, guys uh, make sure that you guys uh, have something like four files copied if it is showing that zero files copied then you're gonna have to change the version of your adb installer now i have already installed it in my pc so it is uh, showing me that nothing needs to be copied again click on y it will show you this uh, install wizard just click on install all right so it is finished click on finish all done now after installing the adb drivers you have to make sure that the adb drivers are installed properly in your machine so first of all you have to connect your android device to your machine at this point 
so connect your android device and then press windows plus x and then go to device manager so after connecting your android device you can see under device manager under your pc name you can see a category called android device and uh, under which you can see this android composite adb interface now if you can see this android device and this android composite adb interface option in device manager uh, which means that adb drivers have been installed properly in your machine now if you don't see this then adb drivers has not been properly installed in your device so now here we have successfully installed adb device properly in my in our machine so we can move ahead now after making sure that adb drivers have been installed properly you have to download either the twrp or cwm recovery image file for your android device now this you can uh, either use flashify or uh, head over to google and just type in your mobile's model name and then type twrp or cwm recovery at the end of it and then just search for it now guys you have to make sure that you're downloading the right e recovery image file which is made especially for your device now if you download the wrong image file and flash it to your uh, android device it might break your device and then permanent da damage might be caused to your device so i'm i'm not going to be responsible for any such harm caused to your device so be careful while downloading and flashing recovery image for your device so make sure that you are downloading the correct recovery image made for your device so after downloading it make sure that you extract it or download it to your desktop after down downloading the file to your desktop open it and there is going to be a recovery file in that folder just re rename that to recovery all right so this is going to help us in the future so just rename it to recovery and then copy that file to local disk then go to program files then go to android go to sdk go to platform tools and then paste that file over here all right so after pasting it what you have to do is you have to just click somewhere here and then press shift right click and then click on this option now guys i'm using a windows 10 operating system so it is showing me open powershell now if you are using a windows 7 or windows xp operating system it is going to be like open command window so don't worry it's going to be similar so just click on that option it is going to open the powershell for you now be precise with whatever you're going to type on your android on your uh, powershell window you have to type exactly what i am typing if you type it incorrectly your device is going to call is going to go into a brick mode or permanent damage is going to happen to your device so type exactly what i'm typing over here type adb devices all right so it is going to show up the device which is connected to the adb so here now as you can see that uh, my device has been shown now guys most of you guys is going to get a simple error over here it's a very simple and common error that adb command is not recognized by your machine which means that adb is not added to the environment variables now you can uh, fix this uh, with a simple fix so i have made a video on my channel on how to fix this issue so just head over to that video fix that issue it takes hardly 1 minute to fix it so just head over to that video i will put that video link in the description below and in the top right corner so just watch that video fix that issue and come back all right so head over to the powershell window and type adb devices again so your device will show up then type be careful with whatever you are typing type adb reboot space boot loader now this will boot your device into fast boot mode and press enter so as you can see in the small window my device has been booted into the fast boot mode 
now after this you have to type now if your device uh, in your device the bootloader or uh, the bootloader has been uh, locked you have to type in fast boot space oem space unlock so this will unlock the oem or uh, bootloader in your device and press enter so as you can see on my uh, android phone it's uh, telling me to press either volume up key or volume down key volume up means uh, uh, you are uh, unlocking the bootloader so i'm going to press volume up all right so unlock has been successful now what you have to type you have to type fast boot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img and press enter so it has been completed now you have to boot into the recovery mode so press type fast boot space reboot so this will basically uh, reboot your android phone into the fast boot mode uh, so you are basically rebooting your device so you will uh, reboot into the recovery from where first so as you can see uh, the twrp recovery has been installed in my device now guys after this step after installing the firmware you can either type in uh, this fast boot uh, reboot uh, command or you can just uh, you know uh, press uh, the volume both the volume button and the power key uh, all together and boot into the recovery mode so you can uh, use either of the things and it will boot you into the recovery mode and from recovery mode you have to uh, reboot your system again so to get into the normal uh, system so that's it that's it how you can install a custom recovery in your device so guys if you like my video give me a thumbs up and uh, if you have any doubt regarding any of this procedure just uh, write it down in the comment section below now guys i'm again telling you guys that you have to make sure that you're downloading the right recovery uh, image or recovery uh, custom recovery file which is made especially for your device if you flash the wrong recovery image into your uh, android phone it is going to break your android phone uh, your go your phone is going to be stuck in a boot loop and you might have to flash the stock recovery again into your uh, android phone from the fast boot mode in order to get your device out of that uh, boot loop so make sure that you're gonna get the right version right version of the T T T T twrp and the proper twrp image uh, or custom recovery image made especially for your device so if anything happens to your phone because you flashed the wrong image file i'm not going to be responsible for that uh, proceed with uh, proceed on your own risk so that's it that's it for this video uh, just like i told you if you if you like my video give me a thumbs up do check out my channel 
and if you like my content subscribe to me and don't forget to ch uh, share my channel with your friends uh, that's it for this video see you guys in my next video till then take care bye bye